Hi guys, this is Danny Johnston from Tech Up 101, and in this video I am going to show you how you can change the screen resolution on your Mac. I had answered a question a while ago with the response that uh, they could maybe solve the problem that this person was talking about by changing their screen resolution, and it occurred to me, well, they might not know how to change their screen resolution. But it's pretty easy to do, so you just go to System Preferences, and then you go into Displays, and then you click scaled and now you can choose one of these options yours will have different options probably because this is a large display and it has a large large resolution i'm not going to change the resolution though to demonstrate it because every time i do the video crashes so i'm not going to do that but you could change it so you could put it all the way down to 720p which would be 50 percent of what it is on this screen you can change it however you want now it's usually just going to be the best for the display so it's going to be the most that the display can handle and there's really no reason to change it unless you're having multiple screens so for example I was once trying to get three screens hooked up to my computer right now I only have one I used to have two for a while and then I was trying to get a third one and I ordered a, a connector cable I don't remember which connector it was but I ordered a cable for like seventy dollars to connect this other screen but the problem is that it would only allow two screens in that specific port, but anyways, with that screen though, I would have to adjust the resolution because it was like a TV screen and didn't have as high resolution, so I would play around the re with the resolution to make it the best. With normal displays, you don't really need to mess with the revolution resolution at all. If it does somehow get messed up, though, you can just switch it over here. Some other things you can do, you can flip the rotation. I'm not going to do anything because I don't want the video to crash, but you can flip it 180 so it's upside down. You can flip it to the left or to the right. And then color, so you could go in here so you can look at that. Then you can calibrate it. So that means that that you can choose all of these color stuff. I wouldn't mess with it unless you know what you're doing. So native color, that's what most people use. You can change it though if you want. and not gonna mess with anything but and also yeah expert mode so you can change the color of your display if you want to but usually you don't have to worry about that and then this mirroring thing is mirroring for example if you have two displays it might mirror the display to to a different display but usually when you have two screens you'd rather just have two screens and not have to worry about uh, not not there's not very much reason to have it mirrored so I don't even know why they have that feature really but maybe if it's like two people are both working but that'd be kind of weird so uh, multiple screens also have kind of not been as popular now that we have mission control and everything and can easily have multiple screens without even having two screens but some people still like them so that's how you change the resolution again you just go into system preferences displays and then you can change it however you like so thanks for watching this video and check out my website techitup101.com and subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash techitup101 so thanks